All right, guys, this is 11.1 uh in the unit 11 packet today's learning target is i can describe the properties of polygons so we're going to talk about what a polygon is uh, and i can describe the properties of polygons uh, and uh, find missing interior and exterior angles of polygons. So those are kind of our two tasks today. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's hop right into it. So basically a polygon is a polygon is a uh, by definition a closed figure. Okay? Meaning it does not have any openings, it's closed, okay? If you picture a closed uh, shape, a figure composed of line segments, okay? It's just made of a bunch of lines. No curves, okay? So it's not like a circle. There's no curves or openings. We talked about that. And it is two-dimensional. So it's not like a sphere or a prism, or a cube, anything like that, okay? It's a closed figure composed of line segments, no curves or openings, and it's two-dimensional. So here are all the different names of polygons, depending on how many sides it has, okay? Many of these we've already talked about before, okay? Obviously, triangles have three sides. Quadrilaterals, that was what our last unit was about, has four sides. And then it's a bunch of agons, right? A pentagon hexagon, heptagon, so on and so forth, until after 12, you basically just call it a 13-gon or a 14-gon or a 15-gon or a 16-gon, however many sides it has. We typically don't deal with ones that big. But these are your basic ones. You've probably seen these before. For, in for instance, like an octagon um, is a stop sign, different things like that, okay? The other thing you need to know about polygons are these two things. So concave and convex, that's a difference. And then also regular and irregular. So it's pretty easy to understand. Concave means two vertices can connect outside of the interior of the polygon. Convex, any two vertices only connect within the interior. So let me explain. For example, in this polygon right here, if I pick a vertice, a point, where two lines meet, and I try to go to a different point of the polygon. Okay, if I tried to go to this one, I would go on the interior. I'd be going along a line. Uh, if I went to this one, I'd be going along the line. But if I went here, I'm going outside of the shape. Same thing here. If I go here, I go outside of the shape to get to a different uh, vertice. I go outside the shape to go to a different vertice. I go outside the shape to go to a different vertice. If a line like that is possible, it's what we call concave. It's what we call concave. If you can create a line like this that is outside of the circle, or outside of the shape, excuse me. What about something like this though, convex? If I were to start here, do you see how wherever I went, if I went to a different uh, vertice, right? I would go along the line. That's not outside. I would go along the line. That's, that's not outside. I would go inside the shape. Okay, what about this one? I'd go along the line. I'd go along the line. I'd go inside the shape. I'd go inside the shape. Okay, here I'd go inside the shape or along the line. Inside the shape, along the line, right? I can't get outside of it. Okay, so that is what we call convex. Concave, two vertices can connect outside. Um, none of these can connect outside. That's the basic idea. So the, a good test is just to pick a point and try to see if you can connect it outside. All right, not too bad. These are regular and irregular. This is another difference that you're gonna have to figure out in your homework. Here, the polygon is convex, so it's kind of like these. And the big thing is all the sides are congruent. See how all these sides would be the same? 
and all the angles are congruent. So all these angles would also be the same measure. Okay, all these angles would also be the same measure. That cone kind of looks like a square. Okay, this is a regular hexagon because there's six sides. Okay, this is a regular triangle or otherwise known as an equilateral triangle. Okay, so a regular pentagon, a square, uh, a regular hexagon, and a regular triangle or an equilateral triangle. We've talked about those. So that's kind of a regular one. Those are the ones we use most often. These are a little bit less common. These are irregular. As you can see, all the sides are not congruent. So on this one, we only know two of the sides being congruent at this point. We don't know anything about this side, this side, this side. So it's irregular. Uh, this one, we, we know these two are congruent. These two are different. So are all the sides congruent? They're not. Are all the sides congruent? They're not. Same thing here. Notice how here all the sides were congruent, all the angles were congruent. Okay, that'll be helpful. Not too bad. Just kind of some vocab to start us off. Okay, let's get into some math. Next page, we have something called the polygon interior. Interior angle sum theorem. So think about what the interior is. Remember that means inside, right? So in this portion of the notes, we're probably going to be talking about angles that are inside uh, the shape, right? Inside the polygon. Uh, the angle sum, okay, what does sum mean? Let's talk about that. Sum means add them all up, right? Add them all up. So basically what this is saying is if you add up all of the interior angles of a polygon, what's the sum? Okay, that's kind of what's happening. Let's look at all three of these. Here's our formula for it. S stands for sum, okay, so the sum is going to equal 180 times n minus 2. Let's talk about what that means. Here we have a triangle, okay. If we're trying to find the sum of the interior angles, let's write down our formula, equals 180 n minus 2. 180 n minus 2. So the question is, what is n? What is in? Okay, an in-sided polygon. What that means is how many sides do we have, right? So here, how many sides do we have? We have one, two, three. So what is in? In is three. All right, in is three. Okay, so if we put that in the calculator, let's see what we get. 180, and then in parentheses, 3 minus 2, we would just get 180. Because what's 3 minus 2? Just 1. So that kind of makes sense. Okay. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Now think about it. Didn't you already know that? Just, just pause. I know there's a lot of information on your screen right now. A lot of stuff on your paper, but just pause and think. We've learned about triangles before. You should remember, maybe, maybe not, it should ring a bell, that all of the angles, so this angle plus this angle plus this angle, in a triangle add up to 180. So that checks out, right? We kind of already knew that. All right, what about this one? This is a four-sided shape. You may already have an idea of what this adds up to be. So think about it, and let's see if the formula checks out. S equals 180 N minus 2. S equals 180 N minus 2. Let's remember what N is. What's N? Okay. N is the number of sides. So how many sides do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 minus 2. Love it. S is going to equal, let's see what that is. 180 and then in parentheses 4 minus 2. 360. Oh, guys, doesn't that feel right? The sum of all of the angles of any parallel or any quadrilateral with four sides is 360. You already knew that, right? Picture a square. 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90, 360, right? Okay, what about this one? This is a pentagon. 
I would pause the video, try to do this one on your own real quick, see if you get it right. I'd pause it. Now try. S equals 180 in minus 2. S equals 180 something minus 2. Okay, how many sides does a pentagon have? Let's count them. You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five sides. Okay, so what it's asking is, what do does this side plus this side plus I mean this angle, this angle, this angle, what do all five angles add up to be? Okay, let's see what we get. 180, 5 minus 2, 5, 40, right? What do all of the angles in a pentagon add up to be every time? 540. All right. That's how we do it. So now let's use that same strategy to try to figure out this, okay? In this one, it is saying find the value of x, all right? So we know all of the angles. Remember, if this is a right angle, this is 90 degrees. We know all of the angles in this polygon besides x, okay? So somehow we're going to add up all these. So let's do 122 plus 100, plus 90, plus 144, plus x is going to equal something. Okay, it's going to equal something. Now, we don't know what it equals, though. That's what we have to figure out. In the past, like we've done stuff like this. Remember, if we, we would add up all the angles in a triangle and they'd equal 180. We'd add up all of the angles in a, qu in a quadrilateral, they'd equal 360. But how many sides does this have? One, two, three, four, five. What we figured out was pentagon. That's a pentagon. Pentagons, right? Angles add up to 540. That's what we just learned. Remember, that's what we just learned up here. That's what we just learned. So if all of these angles are in a pentagon, they're all going to add up to 540, right? Sweet. So how do we solve for x? Well, we're going to combine all these terms together. Let's see what we get. 122 plus 100 plus 90 plus 144, 456. Plus x equals 540. Subtract 456 on both sides. And our angle measure, our missing angle measure is going to be 84 degrees is what I got. Got 84 degrees. So it makes sense. This is 84 degrees, right? We could check our work by adding up all five of these angles. It should equal uh, 540, which makes sense. Okay. So there's a difference here. We're trying to find the sum, which means all of them added together here. We're just trying to find the measure of one of the angles. That's the idea so far. All right, what about here? We have a regular octagon. That means there's eight sides. Find the measure of one interior angle and the measure of one exterior angle. Right now, we don't know anything about exterior angles. So we're going to skip it for now, but let's try to do interior angles. Okay, if this is a regular octagon, what do we know about regular? What do we know about regular? Well, regular shapes are convex. They have all the sides are congruent, all the angles are congruent. So let's label that on our picture. This side, this side, this side, this side. All of these sides are the same measure, yes? We also know that all the angles are the same measure. All the angles are the same measure. So if we know that all of the angles are the same measure, that helps us quite a bit, right? First step, let's do interior. Let me write interior here. Because we're not going to do exterior yet. Let's talk about how we're going to find the interior. Okay. First step is going to be to try to find what the sum of the interior angles is with an octagon. So S is going to equal 180 in minus 2. How many sides are in an octagon? 80. I mean 8. 8 minus 2. So let's first see what the sum of angles are in an octagon, 1,080. 
Okay, so here's what that means. All of the angles in this shape add up to 1,080. Okay, maybe let's try it. Sum. Add them all up. If you add them up all these angles, they're 1,080. Remember, this is a regular octagon, so all of the angles are the same measure. So hopefully you follow this logic. To find the measure of one angle, here's what we're going to do. Would equal 1,080, the whole thing, divided by the number of sides, which is 8. So the measure of one angle would be, let's see what that is, 1080 divided by 8. 135 okay the measure of one singular angle so this is 135 right but they'd all be 135 so 135 135 135 135 all the way around right all these would be 135 so just to check our work real quick we could do 135 times 8 that's the number that's the sum Okay, so in a regular octagon, you can't do this. Find the measure of one interior angle, 135. You can't do this with um, not like irregular polygons, right? Because you don't know that all the angles are the same. I think I've beat that dead horse. Hopefully you feel good about that. We're going to come back to this exterior angle part here in a second. But let's move on to the next page. We're still doing interior angles. It says find the value of x. Okay, I'm going to add all these up. This is a pentagon, right? There's five sides. So if you remember from last time, the sum of a pentagon is 540. We talked about that. So we're going to add up all these to 540. Let's see what we get. Let's do 3x minus 5 plus 6x plus 7 plus 12x plus 4x plus 8 plus x plus 10 equals 540. Okay, I know this is, looks like a crazy long equation, but it's going to get super small, super fast. So let's circle the x's, 3x, 6x, 12x, 4x, 6 x x. Let's add up all those. We get 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 4 plus 1. I don't remember that's a 1x. So we get 26x. All right, let's try negative 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10. Okay, this is called combining like terms. Negative 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10. So plus 20 equals 540. Subtract by 20 on both sides. 26x equals 520. 520 divided by 26 is going to give us 20. So x equals 20 here. All right, find the value of x. Now, if it were to ask you to plug that in, like what if we were only trying to find this angle, for example? You would plug in 20 to x, so 20 plus 10 would give you 30 degrees. Okay, so for example, that would be 30 degrees, and you could plug them all in, and they'd hopefully all add up to 540. Okay, that's the idea. You add up all the angles to equal whatever it equals. Remember, it's not always going to be 540. It's going to be different depending on the shape. All right, let's talk about exterior angles. So exterior angles are on the outside, right? The exterior, like if you were to say the exterior of the building is on the outside. This is the outside. So if you take a look here, here's all these angles on the outside of a polygon. So like this is on the outside, this is on the outside, 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 outside. It's created by angles that go out like this, boom, boom. Created by these little rays that come outside of the shapes. So basically, this one's actually a little bit easier, guys. The sum of the exterior angle measures is 360. So if I did 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, it's always, always going to equal 360, no matter what the shape is. 
So this one's pretty easy to remember. You don't have to figure out, you know, here you had to figure out 540 because it's a pentagon. You don't have to do that. All of the exterior angles are always going to add up to 360. Okay? And these are just a few different strategies. But let's just hop right in. So example four, we're saying find the value of x. Well, if we know that all of the angles in or all the exterior angles add up to 360 let's just start adding them up so 60 plus 64 plus 36 plus 48 plus x okay but then we need to add another x don't forget the other x so we had one two three four five six sides one two three four five six sides okay remember they're all going to add up to 360 let's do this so 60 plus 64 plus 36 plus 48. Let's see what that all is. 60 plus 64 plus 36 plus 48. Those are some like terms. 208. So I'd get 208 there. X plus X would give me 2X equals 360. I'm just going to keep on solving. Remember, I'm finding the value of X. Subtract by 28 on both sides. 2x equals, let's see what we get, 152 divided by 2, x equals 76, okay? So in theory, this would be 76 degrees, this would be 76 degrees, they're both 76, right? Let's see if that checks out, 60 plus 64 plus 36 plus 48 plus 76 plus 76, that adds up to 360. So that makes sense, right? They're both the same measure. Killing it. All right. Um, that's the last page, but I do want us to go quickly back to example two on the last page to talk about this last part. So we talked about what the measure of all the interior angles would be, but let's now talk about the exterior. The exterior. Okay, so that is kind of like if there was an angle right here, an angle right here, an angle right here, all the way around, right? All these different angles. See how these are on the exterior? Okay, what, is, what do all those? Well, they all add up to 360, okay? The sum is 360. We know that. That works every single time. Remember, this is a regular octagon. So that means that all of these exterior angles are going to be the same. Okay, so stick with me. They're going to be the same measure. So remember back here, we to figure out one angle, we divided it by 8. Same thing here. To figure out one exterior angle, you're going to take the sum, which is 360, and you're going to divide it by 8. Let's see what we get. 45. So one exterior angle is going to be 45 degrees. So 45 plus 45 plus 45 plus 45. All of these would be 45 degrees. Okay, just like all of the interior angles were the same. Remember, guys, this is only because this is a regular octagon. Okay. All right. Um, this is 45 degrees. I think that about covers it. I um, uh, hope you guys have a great day. Good luck on the practice. You're going to crush it.